In today's video, I want to show you how to save anything with a transparent or see-through background inside of Photoshop. It's a pretty straightforward process. You could use images, shapes, or even logos for this. And it's usually helpful if you're trying to put something without this background as part of it. If you're trying to put something on a website, for example, and you don't want this background and you just want the website background. The first step is click on your layer once you open any logo or image here. And I'm gonna go to the selection tool right here, this option, and I'm gonna select the subject. Now there are a ton of different ways to kind of select a subject because the first thing is you need to remove the background. I have different videos about more detailed steps in removing background, but selecting subject is one of the easiest ones. You could then right click here or control click and then I'm gonna create layer via copy. I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna make another layer for me here so I could turn off the other one. So just like that, I'll remove the background and this checkered pattern here, this is transparency. It's actually not saving what you see. It's not saving these checkers here, but it's showing you that there is no background and it's a see-through transparent background now. So to save that, I'm gonna to go to file and I'm gonna to go to export and export as. Since I'm going for the web here, export as is one of the best options. You could do save as also, but let me show you export as. And if you save an image as a JPEG, which is the most common way you would save any type of image from Photoshop, you could see it added some sort of white background. That's not what I want. I want that checker transparent background. So I could go over here and change the format to PNG. PNG is the only kind of format that holds transparency. So you see transparency needs to be checked on. And if you look over here now, I have a transparent background. Again, you're not gonna be seeing these checkered patterns when you export. Then I could just go ahead and press export and it will export it as this PNG file. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll show you on the desktop. And if I open this image here on my desktop, you could see the background is not there. It's just transparent. So the benefit of transparency I'll show you here is when you take a layer like this, just like the PNG I saved, if I put it on top of a website, let's say that's purple, it's going to look like this. It's not gonna have the initial background. If I didn't do that, and if I didn't remove the background, just like I had the image before, if I drop it, that's not what I want. I wanna see the background. And the only way to do that is to remove the background then save it as a transparent image. So then you could put your subject on a new background. Again, this is great for logos as well. I hope you found this quick video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.